Hi guys, good morning and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And after a very long time, I am doing one more live trading video. Earlier you know that I was doing very regularly live trading video. In between I started making more of educational videos. Then after that many requests came from few of my followers asking me to start again live trading video series. So that's why I decided I will again start a live trading video series and also I will make an educational video whenever I get the time. So you know that going forward from September there will be everyday expiry Monday to Friday everyday there will be expiry and currently now we have except Monday almost everyday expiry. So you will see me doing fin nifty expiry, nifty expiry, bank nifty expiry, sensex expiry, nifty mid cap, bank X, all expiry live trading video I am planning to do it as we forward and today is Tuesday 25th of July fin nifty expiry market will open in some time before market opens as normally we do it i start with the pre market analysis and i'll show you important levels support resistance and also i'll explain you whether i'm looking to go short or long what is my bias in the market whether i'm bullish or bearish everything you'll be seeing in the pre market analysis now let's go to my laptop and let us start with the pre market analysis hi guys good morning and welcome to one more live trading video in fin nifty today is 25th of july Tuesday, Fin Nifty expiry, but I have Nifty Bank Nifty chart on my screen because I take the trade in Fin Nifty based on Nifty Bank Nifty chart. So before market opens at 9.15, let us do a small analysis in Nifty Bank Nifty and let us see whether I am bullish or bearish or how I am planning to take the trade in today's expiry in Fin Nifty. If you look at the Nifty, Nifty made a kind of zigzag day yesterday, right? Nifty kind of up and down, up and down and finally closed here. And how about Bank Nifty? Bank Nifty also kind of zigzag move yesterday without proper direction. And next we have a average CPR in Nifty Bank Nifty. Both we have a average CPR. So that means there is a chances of big move in market today, right? So it's not a very wide CPR so that we can say that it would be sideways days. So Nifty I am looking for price action. One, if it breaks this level, previous day low level breaks then I am bearish in the market. So I expect Nifty to go down if it breaks previous day low. That means it has to open somewhere and breaks the previous day low. Then I expect Nifty to go down and Fin Nifty can go down. We may open a small gap down or flat. That means instead of opening here, we might open somewhere here. In that case, I look for the shorting opportunity near the CPI. So if it makes a bearish price action, then I look for the shorting near the CPR or near previous day high or near this black line. That is the plan in Nifty and Bank Nifty also. If the previous day low gets broken with a bearish candle, then I expect Bank Nifty to go down and I'll go short because this is a demand zone. If demand zone gets broken, then why we might see a big move on the downside. And another resistance is near the R1 pivot in Bank Nifty market comes here then I will be looking to short. Okay, now as far as my analysis for today, I am on bearish side. That means I am slightly bearish on the market, at least in the first half. First half, I am bearish. So that means I will be looking to take a shorting opportunity in the first half. And second half, I might even go long. That means if second half, if I see that it is taking support near the pivot point or near that black line and it is going up, then even I might take a long trade also in the second half. But in the first half, I'll be looking to go for a shorting opportunity. That is the analysis for Nifty Bank Nifty today. Once market opens at time 15, I'll come back, give you like commentary and I'll show you my trade source. Okay guys, 9.15 and market has just opened and you can see that Nifty opened right at the CPR. Nifty opened right at the CPR. Bank Nifty opened with a huge bearish candle open near that strong resistance which I was telling you that that black line opened that level and how about Fin Nifty? Fin Nifty also opened at the strong resistance of the previous day high. So as I was telling you that I am bearish in the market at least in the first half. So I am thinking about taking a short trade. So let us see. So let us see I will keep the order ready and once I see that it is making a bearish candle then i might take a short position and you can see that i have entered a short position in fin nifty thousand units average price is around 52 currently in a small loss in this trade 
let us see how the trade goes and the reason why i have taken a short trade why i have entered immediately 1000 quantity why i shorted because fin nifty opened taking resistance near that strong resistance of previous day high and bank nifty also opened at this black level where sell off happened yesterday it started making a bearish candle it's a risky trade why it's a risky trade i have taken because i shorted when bank nifty taking support near the cpr anything can happen it can take support and start going up if it starts going up then i should be ready to take my stop loss but as in the pre market analysis i was telling you that i am bearish in the market i expect nifty to break the previous day low and go down and same i expect in bank nifty and fin nifty to go down and you can see that currently my profit also slowly growing earlier initially i was in small loss now profit slowly growing and you can see that my average price is around 52 was around 52 currently trading around 47 48 if cpr doesn't support bank nifty and bank nifty goes down then there can be a big move on the downside in both nifty and bank nifty okay guys you can see that first candle closed first candle closed with a proper bearish candle and closing near the cpr as i was telling you that this is a make or break level from here anything can happen it can break cpr and goes down or even it can make a full bullish candle total reversal can happen anything can happen in this level and you can see that my profit is almost 7000 profit is almost 8000 in this trade and you can see that nifty at the last level of cpr support and you can see that it is breaking it so what i am going to do i am going to add to my position i am going to add to my position i'll add another 400 and you can see that i have added another 400 and currently my position size is currently my position size is 1400 and average price coming to 49.8 let us see guys i'll come back and i'll update you again in some time okay guys and the next update and the next update is profit is around 14000 around 13 14000 in this trade so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add to my position because if you remember i was telling you that i was telling you that cpr is a make or break level if it breaks this level then there can be big fall on the downside looks like bank nifty going to break it so i think i will add to my position again so what i'm going to do is i'll add another 400 to my position and you can see that i have added so i have added another 400 and now my position size is 1800 and average price is 47.44 and profit is around 16 17000 in this trade and if nifty starts going down bank nifty fin nifty everything can break cpr and can go down so that is why i have taken a short position so if bank nifty breaks the cpr then again i might add to my position because now it is at the strong support of 20 ma and central pivot anything can happen from here anyways guys i'll come back and i'll update you okay guys and the next update you can see that i have increased the quantity now my quantity is 2000 units in fin nifty 20600 call option i shorted and my average price coming to around 46 and currently it is trading around 32 and profit is around 26 in this trade okay guys and the next update next update you can see that i have added to my position earlier my position was 2000 again i have added another 200 so total my position is total my position is 2200 and average price coming to 44.86 and currently average price is around 32 and profit is around 26000 profit in today's expiry as of now okay guys and the next update and the next update i was telling you that nifty this will be strong support previous day low was the strong support and once it took the support earlier again second time it took the support third time also is coming near the previous day low but what's happening in bank nifty bank Nifty, you can see that finally bank Nifty, you can see that le that level getting broken earlier it took the support made a pin bar exactly near the previous day low and made a bounce took the resistance near the 20 ma and finally you can see that nifty closed below the previous day low which is a bearish sign but nifty you can see that still it is taking support near the 20 ma nifty still not broken previous day low support but bank nifty already broken but anything can happen nifty can take support and goes can go up and same time bank nifty also can can make a fake breakout and can go up anything can happen so that is why in trading nothing is breakout mean it's not that 100 percent it will go down and let us see what is the position 
and you can see that my position profit is around 52000 in this trade so i am in good profit in this trade but still i not book my profit because i expect this option to come to single digit and that is when i am thinking about booking my profit okay guys and the next update you can see that my profit has come down at one point of time my profit was more than 50000 now it is around 30000 right so what's happening on the chart you can see that on the chart fin nifty exactly took the support near the previous day low and made a huge box after bank nifty breaking the previous day low you can see that it took the support near the pure points and made a bounce but why bank nifty reversed because nifty also took the support nifty could not break the previous day low and made a bounce now for nifty strong resistance would be this this would be strong resistance for nifty why because earlier nifty was taking resistance here and that is where sell-off started so that is why nifty again took the resistance here so this is the main make or break level for nifty let us see from here what happens whether nifty goes up or nifty comes down this is the main candle so you can see that now profit is around 30 31 thousand anyways guys i'll come back and i'll update you again okay guys and the next update you can see that profit now more than 60 thousand and that option is trading around 15 which i sold around 44 and actually what's happening you can see that i was telling you in an earlier update that this is a make or break level because this is where nifty reversed earlier so if it goes up then fin nifty also can go up and i may have to take my stop loss if it reverses then i will come back into the profit and that is what happened finally i am back in profit of more than 60000 right earlier i was in profit of more than 50000 that has gone to almost 30000 and it gone even below 30000 for some time and finally profit is more than 60000 in this trade why because nifty reversed from the supply zone nifty reversed from supply zone and same time fin nifty also reversed and profit is around 66000 now so what i am doing is that i am not going to book my profit as i said earlier chances are very high that it may come into the single digit and when it comes to single digit then maybe i'll book my profit okay guys and the next update look at this fall look at this candle how earlier it took the support made a big bounce trapping all the call buyers thinking that market is going to go up they started buying here thinking that support was taken and they kept the stop loss here and look at this this candle has taken all the stop loss which is a sell order below this level right and that is how trap happens it looked like it is going to go up but it reversed and trapped all the long traders and look at this nifty nifty earlier so many times it took support here it took support here it took support here and finally broken now you have seen how breakout happens right so remember whenever breakout happens it doesn't happen just like one single red candle will come and breaks like this and goes like this very rarely happens right it is easy to trade so big players don't want you to trade easy so that's why what they do they'll give you false impression that it is taking support it is taking support and once you start buying it here thinking it will go up then they will come and reverse it bank nifty also broken that strong support which was a strong support earlier that was broken and let us see what is my position you can see that my profit is now almost 83000 in this trade and that option is trading around 6 rupees which i shorted around 44 let's go to order book and let us see where i shorted here you can see that i have shorted first 1000 units at around 52 then 400 around 44 again 400 around 39 again 200 around 34 and again 200 around 31 i started adding to my position and totally have taken how many 2200 units and my average price came to 44 and currently profit is around 85 so that is what expiry day if you can predict the trend then you can make a big profit i shorted at the top right i shorted exactly at the top and that is what helped me to make big profit and you have seen that i have not followed any option data option chain analysis open interest nothing just pure price action just based on my analysis and i have not done any hedging or anything just i shorted it and i kept my stop loss and that is how i made profit today. so that means direction is more important in trading if you know the direction of the market whether it's going to go up or go down you can make big profit but still you can't be right always sometime your direction goes wrong that is why you have to keep your stop loss 
okay guys and the final update you can see that profit is more than 90000 in this trade and i think time has come for me to book my profit let us see what's happening with nifty nifty made a bounce taking resistance near the 20 ma and reversing again and bank nifty you can see that i was telling you about that support uh, i marked this support before market opened around 45 640 and exactly that is where bank nifty took the support made a bounce and again it is coming down and i think it is time for me to square off my position so i will square off my position now so you can see that i am squaring off the position all 2200 2200 i squared off my position and this is the profit and I squared off entire 2200 at 1.95 and 2.15. Total profit in today's trade is 94,170 in today's expiry trading in Fin Nifty. So that's it, guys, about today's live trading in Fin Nifty. And total profit is around 94,000 in today's Fin Nifty expiry. So you have seen that shorting at the right place can give you a very good premium. When you get a very good premium, it will give you that extra room to keep bigger stop loss and also you can add to your winning position. You can add to winner position so you can make bigger profit. So you have seen that how I caught the top in Fin Nifty at the first candle at the high I sold and now I covered my position and made profit. So that is what you have to do analysis in the live market and you have seen that I have not referred any option chain, open interest analysis, nothing. I have not done any hedging or anything. Just purely based on price action trading, just based on the direction of the market. In the pre-market analysis also I was saying that I am bearish and that is what I have done. I have taken a short position and I made profit. So that's it guys about today's live trading in Finifty. Let me know in the comment section how did you find today's video and if you want to learn more about day trading then you can check my day trading webinar that is 25 day trading strategy in nifty bank nifty you can check the link below this video in the description section and check when is my next day trading webinar where i discuss almost 25 day trading strategy in nifty bank nifty if you are interested you can contact me on whatsapp or email and also i launched a new course that is the scalping course that is one minute scalping strategy in nifty bank nifty if you are interested you can buy that course from my website so that's it guys about today's live trading video in Fin Nifty. I'll see you soon with a new video. Until then, bye and take care.